Hi, I'm CJ Elmerig with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So we've got a brand new Cimarron North Star 3 horse sitting behind me. Now this trailer's got a lot of tack on it. Uh, we'll walk you through the trailer, show you all the different options on this one. This one's a very well equipped 3 horse if you're in the market for something like this. Uh, before we start, we'll go ahead and take a look at the drawing of it and just show you the layout of the actual trailer itself. So. Like I mentioned, we have a three horse gooseneck sitting here. This is the standard width, which is 610 wide, standard height, which is 71 tall. We're also 19.3 on the floor. So when we're looking at 19.3 versus a standard three horse, we've actually gone in and really only added about a foot of length to this trailer. Uh, but like I mentioned, got a lot of tack on it. Uh, we'll show you what I'm talking about as we walk through this. But again, as we Look at this trailer, look at all the different options on it. Um, we'll show you what's standard versus what we've done to this trailer extra. So one of the very first things is we're looking at the underneath this gooseneck area here. We went from a, a standard manual crank jack to a single leg electric over hydraulic setup. Now, typically on this trailer that we're gonna look at today, we usually keep about two of these on order. We keep about two, three horses, two, four horses. And this is kind of the big difference between them. We'll have one with a manual crank and then one with this electric over hydraulic. Um, the reason why is, boy, it's sure handy to just reach up and touch a button and up and down it goes. This equalizer system that Cimarron uses is actually another step because this one here actually has this manual override that you see on this trailer. That way, if we get in emergency situations, we can get this on or off a truck. The other thing too is that you're gonna notice is on our 610 wide trailer is a spare tire. So one, you get a spare tire with aluminum wheel, but you'll notice that this spare has been picked up. And the reason why is, as you can see, the footprint of this electric over hydraulic jack is much wider than our manual setup. So normally in the past, this spare has been located down low. So in instances where you've had a manual crank jack and you wanted to upgrade to this type of a setup, we've also had to relocate the spare tire. So in communications and just going back and forth with Cimarron, we said, hey, what about, you know, actually moving this spare tire up and just making it standard? We went ahead and did that on all of our inventory trailers. And then over about the last month or so, Cimarron made that a standard option on these 610 wide trailers just for that option. The other thing it does is when you get this up out of the way, not so much in this instance where we have this, this setup with this type of jack and, and battery box and the manual setups, you know, that tire actually sticks out a little bit farther as you're walking through, working behind the truck in between the trailer, you know, it's one other thing you have to work around. So now moving forward, this is standard up out of the way. With this setup, this equalizer setup, you're gonna get your battery box, which this is a made at the factory box right here. But you've got your battery, battery to run the jack and then you have a battery disconnect. That comes standard on these. That actually happened in about 2022 with that, that actual cutoff switch became standard. We were actually adding it to it because you can go in if you accidentally leave a tack light on, it was gonna drain this battery but now you can reach up. The last thing you do is you turn that to the off position and it kills all power to this trailer so your battery doesn't drain. With that being a, at made factory, you get the door latch with the same key that's gonna be on all of our doors as well. Now, we've talked a little bit about moving back there. Now, one thing Cimarron does is they actually have a longer standard nose versus a lot of the competitors. Competitors will run about a 7.6 to 7.8 uh, Cimarron runs a standard 8.2 length gooseneck. So if you're running a long box pickup with a tailgate dropped, you can still walk behind here. Uh, in those, a lot of those instances, you know, that actual tailgate is going to be almost right up against that spare tire. So you have a little bit more room to work on these. As you get into the enclosed front ends, you know, then it'll go to nine foot and sometimes nine six, depending on the cases there. But one other thing that we do is, is we've made this drop wall 53 inches. Now, that kind of seems like, okay, well, what's the point of that? Standard's been 50 over the last few years, but by making this three inches, now we do cut three inches into this gooseneck height area, but there is some massive benefits to it. 
if you're running new pickups or in the market to buy a new pickup, one thing on older trailers you're gonna run into is bed clearance and making sure the trailer runs level. By us doing these 53 inch gooseneck drop walls, you can pull in here with a new Dodge, you know, new Ford and even the new GM body styles with a taller bed. And we're gonna be able to adjust this coupler, make sure you have bed clearance and make sure the trailer's running level. Now, obviously there's instances where you have a lifted truck and big tires, then that comes into play. But typically on all those standard trucks or standard heights, you know, we're gonna be able to get this trailer running level for you. Those older trailers, you know, you're not gonna be able to do that. You're gonna have real minimal bed clearance or you're gonna be running on the back axle because the trailer's gonna be nosed up, which is not what we wanna do. We want equal weight distribution on those two axles. Now let's look at this, this tack setup. And like I mentioned, this trailer has a lot of tack on it. And what we've done is we've only gone in compared to the standard three horses, we've added one foot of length to that short wall. Some instances a foot and a half, but most of the time it's a, usually a three and a half or a four foot short wall where this is a five foot short wall on this front dressing room and then we work over here on a four foot offset on the other side. But as you come into this front dressing room, this is what's so great about it is now we've kind of separated everything. You know, up here in the gooseneck, we'll just start up there. You have two windows. That way you can see out. You can create a cross breeze throughout this trailer. You've got this big deck up here that you can go ahead and throw a mattress, a bedroll, sleeping bags, you know, have the ability to sleep in here. If you ever wanted to add an air conditioning unit to this, this is already framed for it. So that's a big piece when it comes to actually adding that. It's a small feature when we're building the trailer, but believe me, it saves a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort to actually have that already done. If you wanted to add a camper style vent, just a manual crank or even a 12 volt, you know, that can be done. It's the same footprint as an air conditioner. So you're already set up there. You've got a boot box. 12 inch boot box that runs the entire width of the trailer here in this front dressing room. Great for small items, just throwing them in there, maybe some boots, you know, just smaller items that you don't want to be shifting around as you travel. But then also it works as a great step getting up into that gooseneck area. And this is an L shaped front dressing room here. Back here in the corner, you're gonna have a shelf with a clothes rod. So you've got the ability to throw some items up here on this shelf, it's got a lip. It's got rubber up on it as well to make sure items don't shift. And then we've got that clothes bar as well so you can hang your clothes. But again, it's gonna keep this front dressing room so much cleaner because we have this solid wall with the tack on the other side of it. And then we got you some hooks up here as well with some carpet behind it. So you can just hang some other items and they're not actually you know, swaying against this actual aluminum sheet, maybe scuffing something up. And then you have the step as you come out. Believe me, we really like to put steps on these trailers. Even if we're not extra wide, you get in the seven, six, eight foot, where you're gonna have no running board on those eight footers. Um, it makes a big difference. I mean, it really does. If you go on flat footed, where I'm standing here to the bottom of that door frame, you know, it's nice transition. It cuts it about halfway. You know, that's eight less inches. You have to make one big step. A lot of times we're carrying items too. So who wants to make those type of steps up into the actual tack rooms? Very simple, it's on a gas shock and just folds up. Then behind it, like I mentioned, it's completely sealed off, but then here's our closet tack setup. These have become so popular because again, we only end up adding about a foot and a half, maybe a foot length to the trailer to do this type of a setup. But what you're going to have is you're going to have a nice big wide door here. You're going to have a four tier blanket pull rack on the door on the gas shock as well. Brush tray for your smaller items, hoof picks, brushes, curry combs, fly spray, you know, whatever you want, maybe bell boots, anything like that you can throw in there that they're not going to be just thrown on the floor. It kind of keeps them somewhat nice and organized. And then in the actual tack, since this is a three horse, you get your standard three saddle pads. If you wanted to add more, you can in this type of a setup. There's a recess post back there, but what you can do is you can loosen those and then spread those out if you want. So it's very easy to go in and add more or again, change the way it's actually set up. Carpet behind everything. 
So carpeted walls, carpeted door. It, we just want to protect everything that we're traveling with as far as our tack goes. So you're going to have some hooks up, up high on each side of that. You're also going to have a roof vent in that tack room. There's not a window on this door, so to get some air in there, that's a nice little feature. You can open that up, let it kind of air out a little bit more. And then the last piece is a corner water tank. So again, those, those corners are kind of wasted space. That water tank fits in there very nicely. That way you can carry 25 gallons of fresh water on board with you. Very easy to use, it's just gravity feed. So you fill at the top, empty at the bottom, but then we're not having to go find a hydrant Maybe you're at a parking lot where you're a quarter mile, half mile away from a hydrant. It's very nice to be able to go and just have water right here for you. As you can see, white sheeting, this one's standard. Uh, as far as the sheeting color goes, you can upgrade into silver metallic, charcoal metallic, black, uh, champagne. You can do the polished stainless uh, sheets as well. There's a lot of custom colors that can be done. So a lot of that can be done after the um, as far as an, an upgrade after the fact if you wanted to add graphics to this. We have a another company that can do that. We can do custom colors for you, custom designs, those type of items as well. And then you're going to have that fold up step going into that closet tack as well. Between the two tack doors you're going to notice that you have a 16 inch awning light. So you've got some light coverage there, uh, working out of both those tack rooms. Both tack rooms have an LED light in them as well. Uh, I'll show you when you get to the stall area, big Optibrite, you know, clear lens, that way you, it puts off a lot of light for you. And then again, of your three bus windows, Cimarron does a really good job on trying to maximize the size of their bus windows on hip wall. You know, you'll notice a lot of manufacturers have very small, um, bus window, you have to also remember on bus windows, only half of it opens because it just literally slides on half of it. So Now on the axles here, you have two 6,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles, 16 inch wheels. These are balanced and nitrogen filled. Nitrogen filled is gonna maintain PSI levels uh, more consistently, you know, really only changing about a pound or two. Um, if you ever do have a slow leak or, you know, puncture something, um, you can go and get it patched. If it can't be patched, or if you have a blowout or road debris, anything like that, you have a one year, no questions asked warranty from the day you purchased this trailer on those tires. That's through Lion's Head, who is the vendor that Cimarron uses. And then you'll also get two years of roadside assistance through that vendor. Now you're automatically enrolled in that um, when you purchase the trailer itself, but you go through Lion's Head, not Cimarron. One other thing that Cimarron does is, is these fenders. We don't talk about them enough, but these are bolt-on fenders. And why that's important is if we ever get in an instance where, hey, we did, you know, <laughs> things happen, we understand, maybe you caught a pole, maybe you just caught something, it damaged the fender, maybe we did have a, uh, some type of a tire issue where it tears this up. Compared to weld-ons where you actually have to go and cut it off and then re-weld one on, these are bolt-ons, so these are a lot easier to swap in and out, which will save you time and money because we're not having to spend near as much in labor uh, in order to cut it off and then re-weld one on. So from a timing standpoint, you know, that saves you some money there by having those bolt-on fenders that Cimarron offers. So we talked a little bit about that wheel and tire warranty. On the Cimarron side, you're gonna get an eight-year structure warranty and a three-year hardware warranty on the actual trailer itself. So as we get to the back, with this one being standard width, 610 wide, you're gonna have a 60-40 rear setup as far as your doors. When you get into your wider trailers, your 7-6, your 8-foot, typically then we go to 50-50 setups, where your left hand's a little bit smaller, right hand's a little bit bigger. Now, I want you to notice, we actually have those dividers open right now. As you can see, we're actually slanting towards passenger side of this trailer the way we have it parked right now. But the big springs that Cimarron uses on those dividers, they're actually trying to hold those open. If we're level, you know, those springs are actually gonna pull those dividers over here to driver's side. So that's one less thing we have to worry about when we're loading, unloading horses is holding that divider open. You know, again, trying to lead them on or off. If your horse is a, prefers a rear ramp, we could add a rear ramp to this, remove the rubber bumper, it welds on and folds up over those back doors. 
So those type of items we can add on after the fact very easily. When you get in here, this tack, or excuse me, staller, you have your kick mats, these recessed paddle latches for the dividers, they're slam latches. So when we get into the instances where again, loading, unloading, it's just safer for everybody, safer for the animals, safer for you to just slam this shut. It's on this heavy UHMW paddle latch, which doesn't make for metal to metal contact, which metal to metal contact's gonna rattle, vibrate, create a lot of noise in these stall areas. So we're not having that by having that type of a setup. But when you put your hands on these dividers and in the stall area, everything's smooth, everything has a radius, nothing protruding out, no, fit, no 90 degree angles. You know, everything is animal safety first and foremost. So as you can see, when I let that divider go, again, it's pulling it towards that driver's side. This very first divider here, you're gonna to notice too, stud divider at stall one, pads on the divider as well. But this will allow for you to use this first stall for maybe somebody you need to separate from everyone else or just extra tack. And then you don't have to worry about those items shifting and getting underneath the horse in transit. Maybe you throw some buckets in there, a wheelbarrow, some extra feed, bedding, your cooler, some of those chairs, those type of items that you're gonna travel with. But again, now we don't have to worry about them getting underneath the horse. But, you know, nice solid dividers in here. Your second divider here is gonna be a partial, but it's still the solid with pads as well. Let's take a look at these lights that I mentioned. So these are your LED lights. These are the OptiBright lights. So we like upgrading to these. They're a nice clear lens. They're big. They put off a lot of light. They're LED, so there's not a big power draw. But with this being a three horse in this North Star setup, you're gonna have one per stall. So it's a great, I mean, just setup for having a lot of light coverage. You are gonna be doing something at, at night and in the dark. And the last thing you wanna be dealing with is not having any light coverage. That's not gonna be the problem on this trailer because you got plenty of lights in your tack room, plenty in the stall and then your exterior as well. So being a three horse, you're gonna have three standard two-way vents. If it's a four, you get four. Um, you can always go in and add more, or if we're custom building, we can do a different setup as far as, you know, maybe doing, you know, two side by side and working our way back in that type of sequence. When we're building a trailer, we can do about anything you want. So, uh, but those two-way roof vents are nice because again, we can create more airflow when you get into the, the winter months, colder months, you can actually crack them and open them towards the back so as the heat rises from the horses themselves, it gets up to that roof and out the trailer it goes. But you're also going to get a standard insulated roof on every single Cimarron. Doesn't matter what model it is, you're going to get that roof. And it has massive benefits for you. One is the strength of it. So it's really strong, it's really durable. I can walk on a roof and it will not dent it. There's a lot of aluminum trailers that when you walk on it, you better be finding these roof bows or being close to them because you can dent something. Now it will take substantial hail as well. Not to say it can't do damage to one of these roofs, but it has to be big, big hail. I mean, we're talking, you're getting baseball size or larger hail that is gonna do damage to these type of roofs. Um, the other thing, and what I feel like is more important, is what it does for the stall area temperature. So with it being insulated, it's gonna keep this stall area about 20% cooler versus an aluminum sheeted roof. It has an R3 thermal value. When you get in here these summer months, 9,500 degrees out here on this asphalt, will take you to a trailer that has an aluminum roof versus a Cimarron, and you will tell a temperature difference. In the summer, you can reach up and touch these insulated roofs, and it might be warm, but those aluminum ones, you put your hand up there and it'll, it'll burn you. I mean, it gets really hot. So again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep the animals as comfortable as possible and safe. So again, radius is on everything, pads on this trailer, insulated roof, bus windows, uh, roof vents, and then I'll show you the drop windows when we get to the outside of this trailer. But again, it's set up extremely well to keep animals nice and comfortable. The very last thing is I wanna talk about this floor. Every trailer, this is how they're constructed. You start from the bottom and you work your way up. So when you start out a Cimarron floor, you're starting with the best floor on the market. It is a 12 inch deck. It's an extruded piece of aluminum, but it has four inch centers that run the entire length of this trailer all the way across. 
So imagine hoof size of a horse. Wherever you're standing, you're standing on a support beam. Where I'm standing right now, I'm standing on multiple support beams. But with that, in my opinion, again, you start with the floor and then you work your way up. So if you want to tell quality build of an all aluminum trailer, crawl underneath and look at the, flo the floor. You won't find a better one than this Cimarron has right here. Other things that can be added after the fact is hay racks, like I mentioned that rear ramp. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do to these trailers even after the fact once we get them here. Every, every Cimarron's unique. In my opinion, they're like a fingerprint. So we can build them and do different options, you know, a hundred different ways on these. So if you're in the build process, we can do that. But even after the fact, I mean, if this trailer is the ideal setup for you, but it doesn't have that rear ramp, that's something we can do here between our parts and service departments. Now, here's a good look at those drop windows I was telling you about in the stall area. Big, massive openings. They try to get you as big openings as they can. You have your jail bars as well. So you can just lift up on these and fold those jail bars down. Maybe you want to throw some extra feed in there. Maybe you want to give them, offer them some water, throw a bucket in there, anything like that. You can just drop that in. These doors, this is all framework right here. I want you to pay attention to that as well. A lot of manufacturers too will have a smaller drop window. Um, some of them even have a prefab drop window. Those are very, very lightweight in your hands all this around the edge into the window is is framework so this is heavy heavy duty durable and stout almost every time we use this trailer more than likely we're going to open up these these doors or tack doors we want them to be strong and hold up over time and believe me these will you're also going to get these welded hinges with grease certs so with that these are easier to maintain a lot of competitors will just have a welded hinge so you have to heat it up and then try to get, you know, some type of grease or something fed in the middle to where here we can actually maintain and put grease to it. There's a brass rod that runs through here that has a, a groove cut into it. So as we open and close these, it's trying to literally feed that grease throughout the entire hinge. And then if you look at those tack welds, those are phenomenal welds on this trailer. High, high quality craftsmanship that you get from Cimarron. And then you have your escape door at stall one. So again, maybe you don't have a horse loaded in there and you're using it for that extra stuff. It's nice to be able to access that. You've got a chest bar there if you do open up and you have a horse in that area. It also has a drop window. It's gonna be a little bit smaller drop window versus two and three. But the reason why is we also have this door that we have framed in there. So it has to be framed within that as well. But some competitors will just do a bus window on this first stall and then have your drop set two and three but this one here you're going to have a drop on each one of them and then in the middle there on the top rail you see another 16 inch awning light so again you have awning lights on each side at the rear and then all your stall area and then you have additional lights in each tack room so again plenty of light coverage on this trailer so again, by having all that tack and that type of a setup, we're not making this a big trailer by any means. Again, 19.3 on the floor, you know, that's a very easy trailer to get in and out of about anywhere you want. Um, but again, a really cool setup. This one here has a sale pending on it. We do have others on order. We can build you something. We do take trade-ins. So whether you're looking upgrade, downgrade, we can help you there. We can build a trailer. Delivery is available, and also we can help you with financing. But I'm going to give you the stock number on this one. That way you can reference it if you are interested in it or something very similar. 5N 211933. It is a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck with the closet tack. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. Our number is 303 684. 3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.